Hey guys, welcome to Hi. another video. As you can see, <laughs> she's wondering why we're waving at the machine. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, a one month update for you guys on us picking up this beautiful lady. Bundle of joy. Yeah. That's what, that's what um, Dan, a previous owner, used to call her. She is a bundle of joy. But the one month that we've had her has been, uh, I felt actually more like more than a month. Yeah. I think we also had to adapt a bit because, I mean, we obviously live in an apartment and at the previous house, she had a whole garden for herself and a swimming pool. Yeah. So she was a bit spoiled with space. Yeah. And a lot of room to run around and yeah. just be. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So she had to get... I don't think she was walked a lot in her previous household. So for us to get up early, so I would walk her before whoop, going to, to work. Uh, so that's early, like 5.30. Stop <laughs> Yeah, we need to work on, ew, it will be ASMR <laughs> for the, for the reviewers, watchers, reviewers. Um, and then in the evening, we would walk her again because during the day, it's just too hot for anybody to be out, honestly. I don't know how people do it in the scorching sun. Yeah. I think it's also not good for dogs to walk on like very hot um, concrete. Like yeah. it, gets, it gets into their, they have like these small pillows on their paws. Yeah. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> So, that, that, okay, good girl. Okay, go down. Uh oh. <laughs> She's going. No. Baby, we need you in the, in the frame. <laughs> You're a show dog now. <laughs> so, as you can see, she's very easy going, eh? And she... Why am I the only one talking? What about you? I'm, I'm just, like... You're petting her. Yes. You're not even videoing it. I am. Um, and... So in the beginning, of course, she was a bit like cautious in the apartment. Yeah. She only peed once the first night in the apartment, which I think was normal great. because she wasn't sure. <laughs> she's going. <laughs> she wasn't sure. Okay, she's gone. So uh, she wasn't sure what to do with uh... Nala. Nala. <laughs> she's Come. like, screw you. Come. <laughs> I'm done with this video. <laughs> Yeah, so she wasn't sure what to do with uh, where to pee and like... Yeah, because you know. normally she was in a garden. Yeah. So... So we also had to form routines, which I think she has taken it quite well, in my opinion. Yeah. Because even the first two weeks, just the first two weeks of being with us, we were literally traveling to Busia with her. Yeah. We, she would be in the car for like six hours. I mean, we would take breaks. We so took breaks, but... pee and drink. We took breaks, but she was calm the whole time. Yeah. She did not puke in the six hour drive yeah, to Busia. Well. And then we, we got out. I mean, when we got there, everything was fine. She loved the beach. Um, she ate. She really loves the beach. Yeah, she really loves the beach, as you can see on the screen already. And she loves people in general. Which is, for me, a bit scary. I, I keep saying it's a bit scary because um, if somebody wanted to harm her or do something it was easy for her to just come to you when she saw you she wouldn't yeah. like you can easily just take her away she would just follow you because if she doesn't sense any danger that you're a bad yeah. person or anything yeah gone but that hasn't happened that won't happen but uh, i just really like that she has a very calm demeanor maybe just very calm maybe too calm for her own good because again when we're going for walks there are other dogs in the road uh, mm -hmm. on the streets who um, try to, you know, get active or try to get her attention or anything, uh, something like that. And until they get in her space space, she completely ignores them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how she, she does that. I she don't just, think she's so socialized yet. Yeah, she completely ignores them. Like, you're not even there. And she's just walking like, I'm just minding my business. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's been a good one month. Uh, a friend of mine, Steve, who has a beautiful yeah. long nose chow chows. One of them is for sale. So if you're watching this video and you know what a long nose chow chow is, it's a lot of noise. A long nose chow chow is she has uh, an eight month old long nose chow chow for sale. 
Yeah, that's just uh, we my... We wish we could take her, but our house is not suited for it. Yeah, I that's think my two dogs shameless, is too much. shameless plug. I've put it in there. So, yeah, he told me that it will get easy. So we're just doing the dog daddy vibe thing. <laughs> yeah, you're really a dog daddy. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, he told me that it will get, I'll get used to it. Uh, it will become easy. Like, you know, that's how come the one month feels way Routine. longer. Yeah, it feels way longer yeah. as well because she feels like at home. She feels like she's been here with us yeah. as a puppy, which, again, is a good thing. Because also be, before we got her, one of the conditions for getting a dog, for Elaine especially, was that we didn't have to go through completely training from scratch yeah for me that would i think i'm not necessarily naturally a dog person so to train a puppy that's a whole other ball game if you want to do it well yeah and i don't think i would be up for that right now i think this is perfect for us yeah because she's already adapted she has to adapt to this life a bit but she yeah. listens very well she she's very happy like whenever she you come home she greets you yeah, yeah just she cute. just brings her she toy. She likes to be around. Yeah. yeah, she gives a lot of gifts. She just brings her gift to you, like, hey. Yeah, it's cute. This is my gift. Welcome to this house. Yes. Everybody that walks in, this yes, is my gift. That's a gift. Okay. It's you so know. cute. Um, yeah, we, 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 we recorded, uh, we recording this, we struggled a lot with <laughs> trying to get her to uh, yeah. be okay with the big machines. She's a bit anxious for big things, like this lamp, but also trucks, softbox, motorbikes. Yeah, so even bicycle when it gets close, she just goes berserk. So because she was sheltered. Yeah, it's more like having a sheltered kid, and being introduced to a different lifestyle. That's what it is. Yeah. She was sheltered. She had a house with a compound, and all she knew was a compound in the swimming yeah, pool. Yeah, it's right. So we're trying to slowly expose her to our neighborhood because one way or another, we have to take her out anyway, right? Yeah, we're not gonna get a dog that's always inside and does not run around that's for us it doesn't really work yeah um, but she did well we went to Bushia, we went to Kokorbite with her we've been to la boma with her oh and she loves to swim in the swimming pool especially but we don't have one yeah it was so cute because at the Kokorbite garden there's a swimming pool and dogs are not allowed to swim there but she jumped in and it was so cute because she looks like a polar bear like the it was so cute. I was like, oh, I wish I had a swimming pool for her to swim in. Because where in a car are you going to let your dog swim? Nobody's going to lend a swimming pool no. to a dog. So, yeah. Wow, such luxuries. I w yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get a pool only for the dog. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's just cute. Let, let's bring her back. People want to see her. Nana. Nana, come. please come. Come. You're going to get candy, OK? Come. Treat. Come, come, come. 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 Get a treat. <gasps> Here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yes. So that's, cute. She's so like, beautiful. There's no space for me. Move your ass, lady. Come. Come. Good. She's cute. Yeah, so. So we're trying to affirm her a lot. I really think, I don't know what it is, but this dog loves affirmations. Yep. I am powerful. I am strong. I'm fierce. Fearful. No. Fearless. <laughs> she just loves it. She loves a lot of praise. I think golden retrievers generally are people pleasers. And I do think we, it's funny how this already brings out our parenting styles. <laughs> I think we're really worried, worried parents. So every day, grab a diagnosis or something new. <laughs> like one day I came home and she's like, I think she has an eating disorder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's not to make fun of eating disorders, but sometimes she struggles with food um we've now finally had the magic like uh, formula for, formula for it food. but it's just funny that grandma always wants to label every day with a different kind of disease or i think she has this or she's too anxious but i think we're also maybe we're generally anxious people are we i think we worry a lot i think she feels that okay. so maybe it also makes her a bit more anxious and i, I don't know I think it's funny how it brings out our parenting styles and um, Krami is definitely the one to spoil her yes. a lot. Yes, because when I go out, I'm getting treats, I'm getting different things. Yeah. I'm but the one who is mixing other things with her food, so she'll like it. Yeah. For me, what I really like, and I didn't really 
know before. I mean, my parents had a dog, but I didn't, wasn't as close to it as I'm with her. But dogs or pets in general, I think they really slow you down. Like they destroy your capitalistic mindset, yeah. really, because sometimes it can just be like we can just be here. Please, the, the viewers want to see you. <laughs> Um, you can just be with her. Well, normally she's not allowed on the couch, but you can just look at her and just forget about the time. You're just there. Like this leaking air, I don't like it a lot, but... I'm sure somebody who knows how to stop this will let us know when they're watching. If you know watching. how to make this... Don't thing. go! <laughs> <laughs> People oh, don't think we are, we are not good to the dog, but we just want her to, it's still for here. you to see her. But you can just chill with her. Like, it's just an extra, like, uh, dimension to home. Because when you get home, she's there. She wants to spend time with you. Whenever I roll out my yoga mat, she literally lays in the middle of the yoga mat. No yoga for you. Yeah, like, and then I have to kind of slowly push her off it to be able to do my exercise. It's just, you just, they always are in the now, eh? Yeah. But so it just, kind of pulls you into the present moment and I've never really experienced that and yeah I really like it and she everybody around her likes her when she comes to a place people want to cuddle her like she makes friends easier than us when we were at Bushwa and we were in a, um, in a lodge and all the people we ran into when the, they saw us it was like first like oh no no did you go <laughs> surfing um, okay, you go. Uh, you you go. go. Let's go. You go. Do you want to be here? You will get more treats if you stay. Ah, bribery and corruption. <laughs> <laughs> Come. This is nothing. Yes. So you take over the space, Boo Boo. You're going to be out of frame. Oh. Hi. Come. We come. didn't really. Uh, we have to train her more to be in the videos. Yeah. You. No, no, go. No. Go. Oh, okay. Go. I don't think this is an interesting vlog to look at. Or... Okay, you sit here. She's just going to lie in front of us. Okay. All these hairs, that's another thing. But it was so funny because she... Come closer, babe. Everybody... I don't want to sit on the hairy stuff. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Okay. No. Carmel probably got this out. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm saying oh, it here. Oh, I put the TV on by accident. Ooh. Um. Yeah, so she would just come in and people would greet her, like, on the street and... Uh, one evening there was another group who had a barbecue set and then the person with all the meat came out it was in a cool box and she, she of course she smelled to, yeah to befriend the meat it guy. was so funny because she walked around the, the cool thing and then we said please come she came and she was like okay she forgot about it then she went over to the meat guy and she went like hi I'm so cute I'm so cute like it was so smart yeah. huddle up like with the, the meat guy and yeah I think she's cute. People really seem to like her. Yeah. So she doesn't only bring us joy, but also the people around us. I never really thought that that was a thing, but it is a thing. My only thing is in our neighborhood, Shadow, we have a lot of other dogs, like security dogs or slash street dogs. So when you walk her, sometimes it can be very... Oh, yesterday morning, all the dogs were out. Literally, Sunday morning, 6.15, all the dogs were out. And I'm just like, it's not nice because you need to watch if they're going to follow you. And you have to, if they come too close, you have to like, hey, hey. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, I, in the Netherlands, that would never happen. So for me, it's a bit like, difficult. not as chill. Yeah. But we're still trying. We're, I'm we're just hoping that getting used to like, the way we walk her every day is kind of similar path. So hopefully they get used to her so they yeah. don't bark anymore. Anymore, yeah. yeah. So this is one month update of having Nala with us. Hopefully we'll share a bit more of our journey with her and where it goes. If you enjoyed this... Nala, do you want to sign off? Nala, come, sign off. Sign off with us. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come. You're going to get treats. Treats. Come. Okay. She, <laughs> she thinks I want to play. Come. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Sign up with us. Oh, the bum. Why? She likes to put her booty on me. Girl. She wants to sit on your lap.
<laughs> yeah, so if you like this video with us and Nala, Smile. give it a like <laughs> and subscribe to our channel yes. and stay tuned for more Nala videos right here. Yeah. We do talk now. about other things than the dog, but this was especially <laughs> for the updates. Yeah. Hello, cutie. Yes. Bye. Dag lieve mensen. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't fly. She doesn't look happy at all. No. She's a bit camera shy. <laughs>